always thought my movies were commercial, but I'm always wrong. <laughs> so I'm not a good judge of what's commercial. I read the whole script and I loved the whole script, so in the way of feeling like I had a sense of the shape of the whole movie, I felt connected. And overall, what it was, the needle it was trying to thread through all these different people's lives. Todd's a great writer and his language is so specific. It's alive on the page, but when it's realized, it it's just has this other dimension that I didn't know. Yeah, it's pretty close to the way it was scripted, actually. I start on page one and then I go to the end. Sometimes you go back and then you make adjustments and take out you, you, uh, your pen and you start writing and you see where you go. You find what it is that you have wrought there and you find what meaning it has. That's it's a process of understanding what's in here and communicating that out there. He's one of the most original um, and unique directors and writers. He's unique because he has his own voice and it's a very special one. You can recognize a Todd Solon's movie when you look at it, you know, because it's, it's him. He had the best book recommendations of any director I've worked with because I asked him what should I read to get me in the right headspace? And he pointed me in the direction of books that I had not read and two of them I'd never heard of. And they were Lolly Willows about the woman who becomes a witch. All the, and I felt like I, I got to engage with his mind somehow, not just as an actor, but as a world builder. Were the books specific to your character or to that world? Well, uh, you can correct me, but you gave me books that you felt echoed something in where Dawn was at that moment. Because I'm like a child, if I read a book, I'll act like the person for a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so it, it helps me because I can kind of get into the just the headspace of what it is. There were some reactions uh, on Twitter. Uh, initially, one person said that he thought it was your angriest film. I don't look at it that way, but if another person does, who am I to argue? I'm not on the outside. I, I can't be objective. Uh, but uh, uh, certainly anger is always a good source of fuel in when you're uh, writing. It's one of many sources uh, of material to fuel the process. My ambition has been to tell stories that I need to tell because it's so hard to make a movie. I only want to invest myself in something that feels important to me. You have to tell a story that's important to you and try not to show off, try not to impress anyone. You know, you want to please yourself. And if you can please yourself, maybe you'll please others. My dreams to your kiss, no sooner.